All right, folks, uh, this is one of a kind power chair right here. So there's a lot to explain on this chair because this is a top, top of the line power chair. This is the F5, which is probably the most expensive chair that Permobil has. It's the top of the line in their power chairs. It's the highest quality power chair you can buy. This power chair here has 36 miles, so it's not even broken in yet. 36 miles means it was used less than two months. This chair right here has six electrical functions, folks. This chair also have high speed motors. This chair will travel uh, between seven and seven and a half miles an hour. This chair also has a seat lift that'll go up 14 inches on a seat lift, not 10, not 12, 14 inches. So the difference between the F5 and all the other power chair, it has the high speed motors and it has the seat lift that goes up to 14 inches. It also has electric tilt electric recline, electric legs that go out, electric legs that go up and down, and it also has the interior tilt which helps you get out of the chair. The seat tilts forward. Six electrical function. This chair is loaded with custom customized stuff. Whoever had this chair bought everything they could buy for this chair, okay? You also have with this chair a knee brace, okay? Right here. You don't have to have it on, you can just take it off. You can see what it does is if you have a person who's skittish, they want to feel more into their chair. You can add this to the, to the chair like this. And when you add this, make sure the feet are all the way in, the legs. If the legs are out, you're going to hit the cushion. It's not going to be able to go in. But you can add it right here like this. And it's adjustable with this knob right here. You can adjust how far you want on your knees. But this, is, this comes with this chair. Uh, you may not need it, but it'll come with the chair. So we're going to put that over here. And <clears throat> we're going to start showing you all the functions of the chair right now. Let me back it up a little bit. So now you can do the function through the joystick or through the switch box. I like to use the switch box, it's quicker for me. So the first button would be your seat lift. So if I hold it down, you can see the seat starting to go up. Remember this seat will go up 14 inches. So you'll start at 22 inches. By the time you're all the way up, you'll be at 36 inches. You'll be able to do your dishes looking down, grab stuff off the second, possibly the third cabinet, You'll also be able to drive with the chair with the seat elevated, which is nice, okay? So there's your seat elevation right here. And you can see the chair still drives with the seat elevated. Now, while we have the seat elevated, let's look at the base on this chair to show you how well finished this chair is. This is a front wheel drive. Front wheel drive means your drive wheels, your big motor wheels are towards the front. There's nothing on the ground in front of this wheel. So the chair weighs about 450 pound folks. This is one of the heaviest chair out there because it's loaded with motors and technology. 450 pounds, all the weight of the chair is transferred right here to the bottom of this wheel so it gives you good traction out there. Really good traction in the yard also. This chair also has four heavy duty suspension. You can see one here, there's one here, there's two more on the outside over there. If I pull down, you'll see the suspension on this fork right here. You'll see it right there, see it? With that suspension and the weight of the chair, your ride is going to be so smooth, folks, okay? This suspension can be adjusted with this ring right here. You can just tighten up the ring. You can tighten up the spring on all four shocks, okay? Also, you have an anchor point inside of here. You can't see it in the video, but there's another one here and there. You have four anchor points. That's where you would secure your chair if you need to strap it down, okay? Now, this chair right here, as you can see, it weighs 450 pounds. I can't push it and I can't lift it. If I had to roll it, what would I do? Well, the motor is right here. You can't see the motor, but there's a lever here. The motor's are here and it goes directly to the wheel. Oh, by the way, this motor is direct drive. There's no chain, no belt. The motor goes directly into the wheel, okay? That's why it's so quiet. But if I want to push the chair, I would turn the power off. And the reason you want the power off, these are electric motors. You want no resistance in the motor. So power is off. You see that little handle and it tells you right there but you have to have if you're like me you have to have glasses but you see the handle if i put a little bit of dust there if i push it down like that watch now the wheel is unlocked you can see the back of the motor right there matter of fact there's a motor on each side so that's how you put it in neutral okay if i can just turn these wheels there we go and when you're done put it back in gear you're back in gear okay so folks you can see the armature for the seat lift right there. You can see how well finished this chair is. It's just an amazing chair. So we're going to turn the power back on. And we're going to bring the seat back down. What I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you something. I'm only going to bring the seat down halfway. 
let's just say right here, I'm going to bring the legs in, the feet, you see the leg, the feet coming in, okay? And I'm going to put the foot plates up. Now, if you have someone who has trouble getting out of their chair, remember I said to you it has the interior tilt? Watch this, folks. You'll see the bottom of the chair go forward. Watch. You see it? Wow. So if you have a person who has trouble getting out of their chair, well, you're, <laughs> you're already standing. You can go higher with the seat lift or lower, or you can just leave the seat lift down and do the tilt at the bottom, but you can adjust the height to make it easy for you to get out. So if you have a person who has trouble getting out of their chair, well, you can see how it was tilted forward. That's called the interior tilt. You see coming down flat? And now I'm going to bring the seat lift all the way down. So now we've covered two functions. And we're going to go all the way down. The next function we're going to do is called the tilt. Uh, so the tilt is when the bottom right here, whoop, wrong side again, when the bottom here goes back. So when this goes back, it's going to take the legs and the back. This has got a lot of medical benefit. It's good to take pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You just want to relax or you just want to have circulation in your legs. A lot of good medical benefit for this. Now the next thing I'm going to do, that's your tilt right there. I'm going to do the legs. So the legs right here, you can see how they can go up in the air. So if you want some really good circulation, you can have your feet definitely higher than your body. As I said, these chairs are really infinite position for comfort, folks. Look at that. But now that's a little extreme, but let's just say you were halfway tilted. Let's do it this way. I'm bringing the tilt back down. But even if you're halfway tilted like this, look, your legs are still higher than your body. Okay? Let's bring the seat all the way down. And the next thing we're going to do is, uh, we're going to leave the legs there. We're going to do the recline. The recline is when the back right here goes back by itself. So you can see the back going back. That's called the electric recline, when only this portion moves back, okay? There we go. So this is as far as it'll go. Okay, so if you're laying in this chair, that would be your positioning right there if it was all the way flat, okay? So now I'm going to bring the back back up. I'm going to bring the legs back down. So we've covered now five electrical functions. There's one function left. So the last function is the feet going in and out, okay? That one has to be done through the joystick. There's not enough buttons here. So you keep pushing the joystick forward until you see a picture of your seat on the screen. When you see that, you want to have this foot plate yellow, right here, yellow with an arrow going up and down. So to get that on here, you just move the joystick sideways like this until you get to the foot plate yellow with this arrow pointing up. There we go. So now the arrow is pointing up with the foot plate yellow. Now I'm going to use this. Watch. You see the foot plate pushing out? That's called, that's the sixth electric. I'm going to bring him back up. And I'm going to bring the legs in closer to the chair. So you can see again. So if I want to push these legs down or now they're going up. Now they're going down. Okay? That's your sixth electrical function. So I'm going to put the chair back in drive, and we're going to start talking about the seat. So now, the seat on this chair is 20 by 18. These chairs are fully customized to your body, body size. So if, you, if this is too big, too large, we have all the cushion, all the hardware to make the seat fit your body on this chair right here that you're looking at. Okay? Another thing about this chair, these arms right here, they're full of gel. This is, this is an extra, you can see, this is a gel pad, folks, full of gel, okay? It just mounts like this on top of the chair, like this. It doesn't come off, it's just very well Velcroed on there. This is custom, these are very expensive. These are custom gel pad. 
You also have here a USB port to charge your phone. You have a safety belt. This cushion is cushion in the front, air in the back. So cushion here, air in the back, air pocket here. This is a breathable material right here. This back cushion here is not leather, it's not vinyl, it's a, I don't know what to call it, but it's a micro, micro cushion and you can breathe. You're not gonna sweat on this cushion. You also have behind the chair, you also have here a fully adjustable headrest. You also have a, a, a hard casing that comes with this chair with bag hooks, so you can hook grocery bags here or you can put this bag that comes with the chair right over here like this. And yeah, you also have on this chair push bar, which is custom. So the push bars are custom, the bag is custom, the bag hooks are custom, the gel arms are custom. You also have a swing away joystick, so if you, this enables you to get closer to a dining table without hitting your joystick. You also have a Permobile bag right here. You have your pump right here to pump your air cushion. You also have tools in this bag, little tools, and all that it comes with the chair. Um, you also have, I mean, I can, I can keep on going, but let me just show you one more thing about the chair. You also have headlights from the factory. So you have headlights, and you have tail lights. You have hazards, right flasher, left flasher. So you're fully equipped with headlights on this chair, folks. So we're going to turn the lights off. And let me look at the chair. Make sure I did not forget anything. If you transfer from the side, you can just transfer easily from the side. There's nothing stopping you from transferring from the side. I think we've covered everything. So the last thing is when you charge the batteries on this chair, you will take this charger here and plug it right here. And as soon as the lights, now this may not be the charger. We're, we're using this one for example, but um, so as soon as the light goes to the top, it's fully charged. These are smart chargers. They know when to stop. All right, let's do a recap. Hopefully I can remember everything I just showed you. So it's a Permobil F5 with 36 miles, was used less than two months. It has six electrical function. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, the feet that go up and down and the interior tilt to help you get out of the chair. It has the, fact, the light from the factory. It has the swing away joystick the bag arm with some tools, the gel arms, the custom push bars, the custom bag that comes with it, the safety belt. It also comes, as I said earlier, with the knee brace that you can or can use or not use if you don't want to. It has the breathable back. It's, it has the USB port right here. Folks, this is an F5. It has the high speed motors of seven and a half miles an hour. This chair has a uh, weight capability of about 330 pound max, 330 pound maximum weight capability. It has a total distance of about 15 miles on a battery charge. That's in perfect condition, folks. So if you're outside, you're going fast, you're going uphill, you're, in the you're not going to get 15 miles, but you're going to get a long, long way. It all depends every user, okay? So if you're looking for the top of the line in power chair, the F5 is as high as you can go. This one is ready to go. So this is a fast chair, 7.4 miles, and that was what I saw in here. So when you stop, it stops automatically because it has built-in brakes in the motors, okay? The top speed that I saw in here was, on this short little run right here was 7.4 miles an hour, so you might get 7.5, but I saw 7.4 on here. As I said earlier, when you have a high quality chair like this, you can feel the suspension. When you turn in a circle, you can feel the spring holding the chair when you turn. Also, this chair has no problem in the grass because it's front wheel drive, so it has a lot better traction than most power chairs. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to elevate the seat so you can see the seat going up and I'm going to drive the chair with the seat elevated. So this is the F5. This power chair here has six electrical function. It has a seat lift, 
14 inches, the tilt, the recline, the legs, the legs that go up and down, in and out, the interior tilt, uh, the recline, it's just gel arms, just a fully, fully loaded power chair with 36 miles. So I think we're all the way to the top now. There we go. So now we're going to drive it and see. We're going to turn in a circle here and see how fast it goes. So your top speed is a little bit like walking speed, about one and a half mile an hour. One and a half mile an hour when you're all the way up. And let me try something else here. Same speed. So if you want to get back to your full speed, you'd have to bring the seat all the way down. It has sensors. So again, this is the F5. Top speed on this chair was seven and a half miles an hour with the seat down, fully, fully loaded, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.